What's up? I just want to give you a quick heads up. When I'm talking in this clip, my voice is distorted, so I want to make sure you're able to adjust the volume for your ears or whatever, make sure they don't hurt. But the conversation is too good for you not to hear it, so we went ahead and made the clip anyway. This is from episode four of No Labels Necessary. The future episodes are just fine audio-wise. Check this out. The information is too good to miss. A couple of interesting things going on in the marketplace, but there's this clip that uh <laughs> uh I'll just play it I'll just play it Trinidad James on drink champs oh no I got him TikTok muted hold up let me run it back let me run it back uh, uh. down here you know I got charged 40,000 in wardrobe for their wardrobe referring to Jeezy tip and video? two chains and if you go back to 2013 you go look at the Algo Everything remix look and see what T.I. wore Look and see what Jeezy wore. Jeezy had on a dicky suit, yeah. and T.I. had on Hustle Game. Right. His own brand. <laughs> Finesse me out of my own 40 bands. You know what I'm saying? Out of my and label I budget. I did just but look at like it. Your label you know what I'm saying? Like I, paid 40, I had to pay 40 pay bands for that. Exactly. Dog, I'm a stylist, dog. Before <laughs> music. He already knew. Dog, that burnt my soul, dog. Uh, uh, that burnt my soul. Like, I had to perform that. But you didn't pay, you didn't pay for the verses? No. Oh, okay. So I, yeah, but they yeah, already yeah. jumped on. Yo, he said that burnt his soul, bro. Yeah. That shit's funny as hell. That shit is funny. <laughs> I love Trinidad James, bro. Such a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> Such a funny guy. That. Yo. That's the game. That's the game. That's the game. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> the game. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a growing pain he had to go through as, yeah. a, as a new. Because I'll go. Everything was. Yeah, his first that was his breakout song, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah he didn't. It. Yeah, ain't no way he was gonna know that. I was out of it. Yeah, but I know that especially hurt. Like he said, he's a stylist. I used to go to a uh, shop at the store he used to work at. Okay, or whatever. And um, and I didn't know he was a stylist, but you know he was always dressed like you know one like that, like that basically. You know, with dress less guy. money, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> he was always dressed like that. So <sighs> I know he's really looking at it like, bro, I this shit. I know how much that shit costs. <laughs> But we sell your clothing brand. I know exactly how much it costs. I know how much your whole outfit is. <laughs> Bruh, so yeah, I know that had to hurt, but you know, that's the breakdown for those who don't get it, right? You know, charging the label. Yeah. Especially too when you look at like, man, you ain't paying for it. So of course I'm about to hit your label for it. I actually have a, a, a story that goes with it. Perfect. Like I was um this is back when I was like interning for this publicist. And I remember at the time we had this client that just got a, a Juicy J feature. Uh -huh. And so I just remember the guy was like, yeah, I want it for the video. And I'm talking to my mentor because like, I don't know shit. So I'm like, bro, how much did you know, Juicy J charge for like this feature? He's like, well, it's only 15K for the feature. I'm like, damn, that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? That's, to me, I felt like it was kind of like low for a Juicy J. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, however, <laughs> however, <laughs> uh, we want it for the video. So it's like another like 10 to 15K for his video appearance, which I'm like, okay, fair. It's like an appearance fee. He was like, and he requires at least a $10,000 wardrobe budget. Mm. And that's when I first, because I never heard that before. I was like, man, so artists can make other artists pay for the clothes they wear in the video. And then my mentor was like, yeah, they got enough leverage and they're big enough. He's like, because it's like, one, I have an image I have to maintain. So I'm not about to, you know, have my image be my image be tarnished because you ain't got the budget to which make is, sure I look. true. Yeah, it was make true. sure I look nice and I look a certain way. And then two, which kind of broke their fourth wall for me with artists. Cause you think of like rappers, especially like, man, doesn't he already have like nice ass clothes and you know, probably like chains <laughs> and all this shit that he could just pull up in. Yeah. And then I'm thinking like, man, they probably don't want to fuck up their clothes. They probably looking like, hey, I'm, I'm not about to be out this video shoot with you in the, the desert or some shit in my, you know, my $2,000 shirt that I pay for. Yeah. You gonna pay for the shirt that's gonna get messed up in the video facts. shoot. Make this a part of your production budget and facts. leave it at that. And I've seen different iterations of that. I have artists that, well, I know artists now that, that do it even at smaller levels. Like, and I get it 100%. Well, who is the artist? I don't remember his name. He's like this, he was like a country artist. Like, if if you found a, a country Bruh. artist with a, yes. Bruh. Yes. I think I, oh, yes. you might have mentioned this to me before. Yes. I, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I remember when I lived over like in the Vinings area. <laughs> I saw a billboard and it was Juicy J and a country artist. Mm -hmm. You know, like a black, well, the country artist had like a black supreme leather jacket that was hot at the time. Yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy in that video. 
That was <laughs> and I was just like, what the hell? Like, I ain't seen Juicy in a minute. <laughs> then seeing with a country artist, the whole thing looked off. But so I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. If you've gotten any value from our content so far, I want you to stop and think about how much value is that worth in money? I'm talking about the same content and channel that's been checked out by people like Lil Nas X, 24K Golden, Ugly Guy, Lil B. We don't wanna charge you anything for this information. All we need is a simple donation in the form of hitting that subscribe button. So please, click it. It's, fu <laughs> it's funny. So it's two things, right? Like you said, one, you got the labels. I mean, the, like a lot, a lot of artists are kind of looking at it like, yo, well, I'm charging a label. I'm not really charging you. Mm -hmm. Even though they know it is charging you at the end of the day. But, some, but many of them justify it as if that's what they're doing. Because, I mean, I've seen artists almost like knowingly do that to each other where they're kind of like, cool about it. Yeah. I, I, I even think I remember Future had a situation like this. I don't know. It was something like, Somebody didn't charge somebody. It was uh, Mad Stein was talking about how she got future on her what got future for her album, and I remember DJ Academics made the point that like it's Meg and Future. She probably was like, "Yo, we just gonna tax the label because it's Carl Sherry money." You know what right? I'm yeah, that yeah, that like, one was yeah. different though because yeah. it really yeah. does like yeah. I don't fuck with my label anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Which, but again, a lot of artists don't mess with their label and yeah. they look at it that way. On the other end, like you said, maintain an image. I don't know if you remember or thought about this. Remember, we had a situation, a song that we blew up. Uh, music video yeah. about to go crazy. Yeah. We're about to drop the music video. And then that music video is going to take everything to a whole nother level. However, first of all, it took a while for the music video to get recorded. When the music video is recorded, it's time to come out. The artist says, I don't like how I was dressed. I don't like the way I look. I don't like the <laughs> way I look. We need to reshoot this thing because of the politics of it. And see, this is what I try to explain to people. Everybody just think, oh man, these people had a lot of money. It was so, it's, it's so easy to blow a song up. I'm like, when you experience all the back end nuances mm -hmm. that slow some shit down, it's like, man, it's so much. Like, all right, song's already popping. So it's not even keeping it from popping on level one, but it would. That one had about four more notches to go. Yeah, at least. Right, for real. Yeah, at least. But this music video doesn't come out. All right. Now they want to reshoot because she ain't, well, the, the person didn't like how they were dressed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and so then basically the music video never comes out. Like managers kind of go head to head. Yeah. Well, actually, the manager and the record label. Uh, of the of one of the artists go head to head and things just kind of sour so it's kind of like well we just gotta let it rock as it is the music video and the rest of the artist support never comes and that was kind of well, we are two years later wondering what could have been what could have been what could have been, been? <laughs> oh you were gonna have two that year on that level yeah Oh man, yeah. that was the first ground one too. Up. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that was, ground up zero. Oh, yeah, that zero. was yeah, that was a it was like five months in business at that point. That would have been a crazy like entry point into the game. I mean, yeah. it was, but it would have been such a crazier entry point to the facts. game. Crazy facts, facts, because that was you know just to be real with y'all, right? There's a lot of different campaigns, and sometimes you work more, sometimes you work less, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you we got one as aspect of it, and then sometimes you're working a whole campaign. We were the only ones touching that thing. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Going crazy. And nobody could take credit for it. Nobody, <laughs> hey, because, bro, a lot of y'all be taking credit, especially when uh, when they did label labels, the yeah. major labels. <laughs> oh, man, that's music marketers out there, man. When you're dealing with some people at labels, just know that they gonna take some credit for some of the things that's going on, yeah. Because their job depends on it. They're trying to get the promotion. And I get it. I can't even be mad at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's why you gotta you gotta record the calls and get uh, government names. So if they ever gotta come up, you can prove it. <laughs> hey, get them invoices. Are you telling me I didn't work with Curtis? <laughs> People don't even know his name is Curtis. How do I know that? Yeah, how, do, how how do I know, bro? <laughs> why do I have his high school email on the invoice? <laughs> well, I don't got his his EIN and his social, bro. Duh. <laughs> so you know, you just, just protect yourself. Protect yourself out here. They just know that you put in the work you put in. But you know, that's part of the game on the label side. They got to get the promotions, and they got to whenever a hit rock, um happens. Not only is money being made for that artist, it's a lot of promotions and shifting that's going on in the industry on the back of that artist, just to you know 
be real uh, with y'all music marketers and people who are, you know, professionals who ain't got to that side of things. And artists, the beauty on your side is when things open up that window, everybody is rallying around you because they trying to, yeah. they trying to cut, uh, yeah, cap. As yeah. much as they can, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> and everybody will pay for what you need. Because the last point with this, or last point I got with this, is that it also explains how artists burn through their budget so fast sometimes. You know, you're, you know, you're kind of break down musical things. You're like, man, there's no way studio time costs that much. There's no way, whatever whatever costs that much. And it's like, man, he could have got charged $40,000 for wardrobe for a video fan. Yeah. Maybe that's where the budget went. So that's crazy, yeah. bro. It's crazy. Yeah, I wonder, now he said it like, he didn't know in real time either. It's like you yeah. found out after the video. Yeah. Yeah. So probably when the label him with the bill, like, oh, you owe us 200k. Is my like 200k? What? 40k for the wardrobe? Hey, bro, that's, <laughs> hey, that's that. Oh yeah, we handle it. No, nah, yeah. what did y'all handle, yeah. bro? <laughs> like Tip say he good. Jeezy said they good, but why are they good? Yeah. Did y'all pay him anything? I need to let me see the itemizations before they travel. <laughs> we waste their good time because we not be at, we might not be able to do this for real. Yeah. And I also feel him too. He said they gave him free verses. Like at that time, bro, a Ti and Jeezy verse was probably way more than forty k, or at least around that. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. And I can respect the freemium model. Yeah. <laughs> you get the verse for free, and then we charge you the other ways, bro. You know, just like these apps out here. <laughs> hey, man, I love it. I love it. Get it how you live. Get it how you live, <laughs> artists. Just know that it ain't no money's coming out for different ways. Appreciate you watching. Fun fact, every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you want to be a gem seeker, collect all the gems. Keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.